Hello, Ken Weller here with New Tech Inventors. Wanted to talk to you about a couple of things today. Give you an update on where we're at. Uh, it's been a long year, COVID-19 and everything else. Um, fortunately, last December, I had uh, decided to retire from the construction business. And um, in retiring, I didn't want to just sit around and do nothing, so I started coming up with some ideas. And one of them was what spawned uh, this business. And with COVID-19, it absolutely had no impact on me pursuing uh, this business. I was able to do everything from home. I got the 3D printers, got the software, learned how to use the software, learned how to use the 3D printers to make my parts. And um, I incorporated my business uh, or did a limited liability uh, company, LLC, for my comp business through some attorneys whom I've never met. Um, everything is either Zoom or email. And I also uh, filed two uh, provisional patents on two of the products that I'm making. And I've done all of this stuff pretty much by myself. Uh, I've purchased additional 3D printers. The 3D printers have allowed me to make multiple parts. These are these are some of the parts that I make for the uh, products that I'm getting ready to put on the market. And um, I have videos that will be explaining those. Uh, one of them is the helping hand. and It's just a device that um, is able to aid people in accomplishing tasks in numerous ways. But if you get a chance, look at the video um, on the helping hand and see what you think about that. Uh, this is another project that I haven't done a video on yet, but this is one of the parts for it. This is another one of the parts that go with that. And I'll be talking about that product also. Uh, one thing, in some of the videos I've tried to talk about some different printers like the Arnett printer and the King Rune and some others that I have. Um, and I've tried a lot of different printers and there are advantages and disadvantages to all of them. But I've tried to pass along things that I've picked up along the way. Uh, one thing I'm working on now is uh, filament. Uh, being able to maintain the filament. I can, I've can. i run multiple printers at a time. So um, yesterday I think I had 15 uh, printers running at the same time. That's 15 rolls of filament. And when I finish running those printers, I need to protect that filament from moisture. And one thing I do is try to make sure that I immediately get them into a plastic sealed enclosure and also I put these little packets of silica gel in there to help absorb any moisture and uh, keep that part from uh, the filament from absorbing moisture. You notice these are orange. Now when they absorb enough moisture they'll turn a real dark blackish green. And so I can tell just by looking at this filament I'll try to press all the air out that I can as I seal this. But I can tell just by looking if I have a lot of moisture in there. Because if these are dark, 
then I just have to uh, take them out and replace them with some new ones. Now these are reusable. All you have to do is take these, put them in an oven or a microwave. The instructions come with the packets. Instructions for oven or microwave use are on the back. And these uh, particular ones, I like the orange ones because I can see the orange color very distinctly and they're uh, D dry and dry. Um, I get these on eBay and this is a 30 pack of the 20 grams orange and I recommend them highly because I've recycled them many times. I The microwave is pretty fast way to do it if you follow the instructions and um, it takes about 7 to 12 minutes on defrost in the microwave in an oven at 200 to 250 degrees Fahrenheit it takes about uh, up to two hours so uh, you've got a couple of options another thing that I'm doing uh, some of you have probably gone online and or on YouTube and have been looking at different ways of uh, drying these rolls of filament once they've absorbed some moisture and um, I actually purchased a large uh, device that I thought would work it's a dehydrator um, turned circulates too much air and it's just a giant heater but what I'm doing I'm modifying it uh, by insulating it and sealing it up and putting different types of heating elements in it to keep the temperature in there warm it will hold 10 or 12 rolls of filament at a time so uh, I'll probably be doing a video on that once I uh, get it to work hopefully so those are a few of the things that have happened um, it's late November now and the year's gone by real fast we're coming up on one year since this whole thing started I've accomplished a lot and I'm trying to catch up on the videos different episodes showing you each step that I've taken and uh, to get to this point. I still have some major uh, steps left to take. Uh, one is setting up a website um, and hopefully one where we can sell these products uh, that we're making on that website. And, and another is uh, working with eBay or Amazon to try to get some of the products out there and sell them that way. So at this time I'm not sure exactly which route we're going to take, um, how that's going to work, but uh, we're, we're making progress. <laughs> and with the YouTube uh, videos I've worked a quite a bit on trying to learn some edit using some editing software and um, I'm hoping to be able to do better videos uh, picture in picture and things like that that can get close-ups have multiple cameras and I'm learning it but it's it's very difficult if you can imagine trying to work and do the videos and at the same time work and make the parts and uh, also work on other things such as my shipping and packaging and so forth for the products so it's a lot of work but I'm doing these videos uh, primarily just to show people what all is involved and to try to encourage someone else you know 
if an old man retired uh, can pick up a 3D printer and download some free software and start putting some things together and start a business out of it and hopefully someday make some money doing it and do it all at home and be your own boss and um, if I can do it then I'm sure that there are other people out there that can too. Maybe they just need a little encouragement. They need to see me trip and fall a few times and uh, then they'll realize that it's not so bad and hopefully somebody will watch this video and take it to heart and just jump in and follow their dreams. Um, 3D printing, I've had a long career of computers and electronics and different things and the 3D printer has so much potential to be able to make something like this uh, 20 years ago if you design something like this um, that one part right there would probably cost you twenty thousand dollars because you'd have to pay to have someone make a pretty complex mold because it's not it's not all that simple with the different holes and slots and so forth and to be able to um, injection mold a part like this the mold would probably cost you over twenty thousand dollars and then you'd have a minimum run and the cost for that and the plus the material so uh, you can go out and buy one of these printers for hundred and fifteen dollars and download a free software thing and buy a fifteen or twenty dollar roll of PLA and voila any part you can imagine just about you can make um, and in some of the videos I talk a little bit more about designing your parts because you can't just make any part this part can't be made like that um, because there's certain surfaces that are flat and they would need support so it has to be made in that position so I've designed all of these parts to be made and uh, I have a video on gravity but uh, with 3D printing it was made a while back I could improve on that a lot now but when I get into a video on design I'll cover that a little bit more too in the meantime um, don't be afraid to go out there and take a shot at it and if you have any questions or there's something that you're curious about wondering how I got to a certain stage um, in getting some of these things to come together drop me a note and uh, I'd be glad to address it and maybe even do a video on that specific part of the process uh, believe me there there's a lot to this and it's taken a lot of time uh, which reminds me of the um, monitoring. When you're running 15 printers, I'll come up here. It takes me about 20 minutes to queue up 15 printers and get them going. Then I can leave them for 10 or 12 hours. But at the same time, I can go to my phone And, and on my phone, if, if you can see this, that's actually a camera in there uh, showing some of the 3D printers. And uh, see if I can get the second one up. But what I did... I took a relatively inexpensive home video system. You can buy these things on eBay 
for around $200. And for $200, you can get a uh, DVR and eight cameras. And then what you do, you set your DVR up and put the cameras on little tripods and I'll have a video where I'll show you how I have those and then run the lines back to the DVR and then you can position those around to get a close-up of a particular printer if you've had problems with it and you want to watch it during the process of printing a part or you can have one just viewing a whole line of eight printers that you can pull up and look at and that way I can go downstairs once I've set these printers up turn out the lights go downstairs and um, work in my office down there on some work or I can sit and watch TV or eat dinner or whatever I can even leave the house because through Wi-Fi I can pull up those cameras and see how my printers are doing and every once in a while a printer will fail uh, usually what happens is a um, uh, few times I've had a part come loose from the um, plate and this hotbed and when it comes loose then all of a sudden the filament just starts going everywhere and just making a stringy mess sliding the part all over the place and you can see that on the camera and then I know to come up here and shut the printer down and clean it up and get it going again so that's that's about a two hundred dollar way of being able to monitor eight different uh, printers or eight different views of your print area and you're just a click away from being able with your smartphone of being able to see exactly what's going on without having to make a trip up the stairs and check on them yourself so that's that's been a real useful um, item for me so we'll have more later appreciate you watching and um, if you have any comments or anything please leave those if you like the videos like us uh, if you want to see more and kind of keep up with things uh, be sure to subscribe and we'll be putting out more and more videos and showing a lot more of the manufacturing process uh, using 3d printers thank you for watching